a fantastic speech. I love watching you get up here. You have great voice, projection, a great presence and body language up on the stage. And I loved you had the start of a story. And I could see the story building. And I love seeing speeches start like that. And a great hook. You paused the action. And you hooked us in. And you grabbed our attention. I love those aspects of your speech. And like I said before, I have the honors task of evaluating John. So I'm going to be more critical on you than anyone else I will ever be critical on, I'm certain. But it's because there's so much here. So I felt like the story arc was deflated. You had this great hook, this great build, this great presence, and then it felt deflated. And the reason, I think, is because you took time for all of us to talk amongst ourselves. And that deflated that bill that you were giving to this story. And so I would recommend, especially for a speech that's four to six minutes, don't do that. Just assume that we have that conversation going on in our head, because that's probably enough. I also felt that your conclusion was predictable and anticlimactic. I knew you were going to steal home. That was the title of your speech. <laughs> so what I really, 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 really wanted was for you to tell me, what did you do to overcome that coach saying, I'm not going to push you? I wanted the lesson. Tell me, how do I overcome those people who stand in my way? That was the surprise to the story, and you left it there. You left it out there in the open and did nothing with it, and you told me you stole home. That's great. Congratulations to you, John. You stole home. <laughs> what you didn't do is give me anything as a member of the audience. I really wanted that from your speech, and I think if you had that, I would have stood in standing ovation beforehand, because this was supposed to be an icebreaker. Which brings me to my last point. This didn't feel like an icebreaker. Probably because it wasn't really an icebreaker. I'm not, sure. I'm not sure why you're going through the CC manual again. I would love to see you dive into the storytelling manual, or another manual, and expand your horizons a little bit with Toastmasters speeches. But otherwise, I love your speech. I, I realize I have so much that I could learn from you as a speaker, and congratulations. Thank you.